absolutely delighted. That's how Doug Pawley feels after winning a partial victory against a bus company at the Supreme Court in a battle over wheelchair spaces. Mr Pawley, who uses a wheelchair, was left at a bus stop after a woman with a child in a buggy refused to move. First group said drivers already did all that could be reasonably expected, but they'll now have to put pressure on people to clear the priority wheelchair space if someone who needs it gets on. But the ruling isn't totally clear, as Chain Deeth reports. They're calling it the poorly principle. Those in wheelchairs will normally take priority over those with pushchairs. Four years ago, Doug Pawley couldn't get on the bus to Leeds because a woman with a buggy refused to move because the baby was asleep and the buggy wouldn't fold. Mr Pawley took first group to court. Today, the Supreme Court ruled its policy of drivers simply asking someone to move wasn't good enough. The request should be rephrased as a requirement, particularly where the non-wheelchair user could move elsewhere in the bus. A partial victory then. The judges said drivers should pressurise or shame someone into moving up the bus, but they didn't give them the legal right or responsibility to chuck anyone off the bus. Did it go far enough, them saying that it depends on the circumstances and they can't order a person off the bus? I think they, they always have to strike a balance. That, you know, there's always going to be exceptional circumstances where somebody else might need that space. But barring something really exceptional, that, um, that the driver must um, encourage people to move. And that is now a legal precedent. The situation that I had, where a man just refused to pull his buggy back to let me into the wheelchair space, and he could have gone into, back in, in front of me, that would have been deemed to be unreasonable. But the bus company says it can't do much if people refuse to cooperate. But we're actually on the side of our drivers, who have a hugely responsible job. Not the passengers? We are, uh, in this case, we're always on the side of our passengers, but in this case, we need to be on the side of our drivers, who are sometimes put in very difficult situations. In that case, what does today's ruling really mean? It means that the next time someone refuses to move from the wheelchair space, the driver must be much more forceful, maybe even refusing to drive any further if necessary. But the judges also said that the approach depends on the circumstances. So it's not guaranteed that a wheelchair user will always be able to get on the bus. So would parents with pushchairs make room? No disabled person has got priority, I guess. I would probably take my baby and give the space but yeah I think it's, it's very tough. Some are saying today's ruling went too far, others that it didn't go far enough but to work it's going to depend on considerate passengers or drivers powers of persuasion.